Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay. If this is your first time here, welcome. And in this video, I wanted to share with you five luxury shoe styles that I think every woman should own. Now, this is just a guideline. There are no rules, but the shoes that I am going to share with you are from my own personal collection. And I have found that these styles have worked for me very well. And so I am going to give you uh, pros and cons of each I will also share with you pricing I will also share with you how I take care of my shoes and at the end I am also going to talk to you a little bit about a surgery I had so that I can afford to wear these shoes all right so let's go ahead and get started with flats and I think every woman should have a pair of flats in her collection and if you are starting out your luxury collection may I suggest for you to consider these Chanel espadrilles these beauties come in at a price tag of $725 now that is this particular style I have seen other colors as well as fabric and even pearls around the CC and those come in at a price tag of over $900 so I have to tell you that these are probably the most basic ones and I can tell you as a pro that they are extremely comfortable and so worth the money at first the leather is very stiff but as you continue to wear these shoes your feet will mold into the shoes and it would get easier for you to wear them so as you can see they're pretty stretched out now i wanted to mention a quick con and that is the bottom of the shoe which is sort of like a yarn fabric and you can probably see that it is quite dirty so just be mindful of that what i would suggest is if you are going to use these for a walk make sure you do not walk on grass because it is quite difficult to clean that now i have them in the classic black and i also have them in the beige with the black tiptoe and of course you can probably tell i wear these more it's probably because I am afraid of getting these dirty, but I try to wear them as much as possible. But I have to tell you, when I do travel, for the most part, I take my black ones. Love these. I highly, highly recommend them. All right, so the second pair of shoes that I want to share are a pair of high heels. Another style that I think every woman should have in her collection. And the ones that I want to share with you are my Christian Louis Vuitton. And these are the Corniel 100 patent leather. I'm not sure if I am pronouncing that correctly, so please forgive me. But these are the pairs that I've had for quite some time, and I love these. One thing about Christian Louis Vuitton shoes, and I'm sure some of you can relate, is that most of his styles are quite uncomfortable. I think throughout the last few years, they have changed it a bit, where now they're coming up with flats and a little bit more uh, enjoyable shoes, if I may say, because the Soquet is one style that you will never catch me wearing. I have tried to wear those shoes, or I should say style, for a while like I, every time I go I try them on and I'm just like I can't do it every time I see a woman wearing them I say a silent prayer and I say to myself I hope she go gets a foot massage because they can be brutal but these pairs are absolutely uh, amazing in terms of comfort the price tag for this is $695 now Honestly, like every other pair of high heels, as you continue to wear them throughout the day, yes, your feet are going to hurt. But I can tell you that I have worn these shoes maybe five, six hours, and they're still quite comfortable. The shape is kind of asymmetrical. I hope that you guys can see that. And that really helps your toes breathe. It's like the way that I like to describe it, where your toes are not like on top of each other, where I feel like the sole cape definitely do that. But the reason why I also went for the patent leather is because I like the look of it. And these are a pair of shoes that you can wear pretty much for any occasion. So if you're looking for some high heels, I highly, highly recommend the Corneal 100 patent leather. All right, and the third style that I wanna share with you are another pair of flats, and this is a particular shoe style 
that I had my eye on for a while. I wasn't really quite sure what brand I wanted, but when I finally went to Europe last year, I walked in into this store and I had to get them. <laughs> and these are my Chanel loafers. Oh my goodness, they are absolutely gorgeous shoes. I love the black and gold that go around it because of course it reminds me of the Chanel flap uh, the classic flap and I love love the CC's I think they're great I have to tell you I have not worn these because they are brand new and I am a size 38 and a half you are uh, you're upsizing and uh, which means I am an eight and a half US love these i walked around for a while with my glass of champagne of course <laughs> um but i really like them they had them in beige with the gold and i believe they had it in white but i wanted to get the black because i find that these are probably shoes that i'm gonna wear for a long time I can wear them with jeans, with slacks, even with really pretty skirts. So I am looking forward to wearing these. And the price tag for this is 850 US dollars. Now, depending on the particular color and style, they can range uh, over $900. So I believe this pair was about, I think when I did the conversion rate, it was like $1,000. So they are quite expensive, but these are shoes that will be forever in my collection. All right, so the other pair of shoes that I want to share with you are some high heels. Going back to high heels because I think this particular style is also one that I would recommend. And I am talking about the famous Valentino Rock Studs. These are amazing. They are beautiful. I have probably a total of four. So I do have a little bit of an of an obsession i have them in the beige i have them in the black i have it in a beautiful gold and also in denim i love those just like the christian louis vuitton pair that i have these are comfortable i'm not saying they're more comfortable but you can probably use these for four to five hours without a problem um one thing that i want to say is that you know because it's patent leather which i didn't mention with my other ones is that they can get scratched you can probably tell from this shoe i have a scratch right there now the price tag for these are 900 i'm sorry is 995 dollars they um have them in other colors i all think they also have them with the much um uh, shorter heel so if you think that these are high you can definitely go for the shorter heel but I love these I recommend them as well they are so pretty and they really make your outfit stand out so recommend them all right keeping up with the Valentino theme I have now a pair of flats and these are also very popular and these are the Valentino Rockstar jelly flats Oh, so pretty, pretty, pretty. I love these. I have them in the pale pink, as you see here, and I also have them in black. Great piece for you to take. I shouldn't say piece. Great pair of shoes or flats that you should take on vacation because they are so easy to clean and they are so pretty that if you are at the beach and you just like to wear some shorts and a white tee or whatever it is, this will complete your outfit. I absolutely love these. I have to say that the only con with this is that the price is quite high. I don't know. I think that the price went up because I don't think I paid what it is now, which is $425. For whatever reason, I think they were much less. I think they were under $300. They're a very popular style. You can get quite a few colors. I just checked the Nordstrom website and I think they have them in the classic beige and the black. But I have seen them in red. I have seen them in, uh, I think it was like a clear with the gold, which actually is really pretty. But at 425, they are expensive uh, flats, but I kind of like them. I would say that if you are gonna get maybe a high heel and a flat, I would go for the Valentino one. All right, so now I wanna share with you how I take care of my luxury shoes. 
no doubt about it these are very very expensive shoes and the way that i look at it is that if i am going to invest that much money into my wardrobe with these shoes i need to take care of it so what i do to wipe off any excess dirt or clean the inside of the shoe i use some wipes and i use anything that is fragrance free i just you know take the, the wipe and i wipe it down and then i just get a dry cloth and i just you know make sure that i dry the interior i try not to get like the most moisturized wipes so a little damp will go a long way but i make it a point to clean them i take the wipe and i also go around the shoe and just clean off any dirt now the other thing that i would suggest is that go the extra step and get the bottom of the shoe protected i have spent about an extra 100 to 200 dollars but this is what i have done with my shoes and it is totally worth it take it to your leather place and just have them do this because it would uh, protect the bottom of the shoe and it can also help you uh in case there's like a slippery surface so this is more i don't know if you guys can see but it's kind of a rubber feel so definitely will help you I have done that for pretty much all of my shoes I also have here a pair of the Valentinos these are the denim ones uh, and I also wanted to share the difference so this is one particular uh, rubber um, you know protector that I put on this shoe and this is the other okay but you guys can see that it's still a little dirty but this is a lifesaver so go the extra mile if you're gonna spend this kind of money and take care of it because it would be told it would be so worth it over time uh, you know you will get more use out of these styles okay that being said I also wanted to share with you my story regarding the operation that I got in order for me to afford these shoes now this is a very common condition which I really didn't know until probably I started getting into uh, into research and it is a bunion surgery and yes it's pretty gross <laughs> uh, but I keep it real because look I am not gonna spend thousands of dollars in luxury shoes and have these things in, on my feet and not be able to wear them and enjoy them so what I did was I went to three different doctors and I got three different opinions if you are someone or you know anyone who is suffering from this very common condition I believe it's like three million people a year uh, in the US alone deal with this I would highly recommend it to get it done the sooner the better because the older we get the uglier is gonna look and the more painful it is when I went to three doctors two of them said don't do it and the other one said absolutely do it so they were very very small and I will insert a picture so you guys can see the day of the operation of one of them uh, it was painful but uh, you know he said just get it done get it over with and you would see over time that it was worth it and he was so right at the time I was working for a hedge fund in New York City and I had excellent insurance and they paid for the entire operation 100% the total cost was like $25,000 so it is a very expensive one so if you are considering doing this I would first suggest go to three different doctors get their opinion make sure you get really good x-rays and then call the insurance and tell them that you are considering getting this operation done and how much they are going to pay don't be embarrassed i was i was even embarrassed to talk about it but i said you know what i'm just gonna tell you guys the truth because it is true i mean it's not sexy if you are worried about scars please don't okay makeup can fix that <laughs> All right, you need to feel comfortable in your own skin. And if you're gonna go down this luxury shoe route, get that fixed if that's something that you suffer from, okay? I did not spend a dime until I got that done. And I can tell you, and I can confirm years later that now when I spend money on these luxury shoes, I am happy, I no longer have pain, and I just feel like I can walk on clouds. <laughs> it's a little excessive but you guys get the point all right guys so i hope that that was helpful let me know if you guys have any more questions if you kind of want to talk to me or maybe like you know email me in private you don't want to put a comment on youtube please make sure to email me i try to respond to people uh, as much as possible so please i will be more than happy to help all right guys so i hope that you guys enjoyed the video please let me know what you guys think about these styles if you have them Please share with our community your experience. If you like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already and i will see you guys very soon on my next video bye